Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to look at how Colorado was almost able to come back against Marquette. We're going to talk about the one big issue that I think Marquette is always going to struggle with. Let's go. So the first thing is these shots that we're looking at at the beginning of the game, we're looking at how easy these shots were and why. Okay, so we see a loose drive happens and an easy layup rim. Frankly, he gets by the little defender based on the screen right there and there's no help that comes in an easy layup at the rim. Example number two. Again, early in the game, Marquette absolutely dominated. As Koleg drives this ball, let's see, is there any help? No, he gets slight edge on the defender, uses his left hand, beautiful. No help, easy finish to the rim. So to end the second half, or end the first half, Marquette was absolutely dominated, up by 11 or something along those lines. However, Colorado made a run. How were they able to make this run? The thing that really changed for them, I believe, is on defense. So in this first example, when the ball gets into Iguodaro, how much traffic is there? Okay, earlier we saw there was no help. You could essentially drive and it was one on one and they respected you on the outside. Here, one, two, two on the ball, two other bodies in the paint. Okay, so Colorado's big adjustment is they were simply going to help a lot more. Okay, and that allowed for this kind of skip pass, but you can't allow Marquette to shoot the ball at the rim. So I still think this isn't quite the optimal defense, but this is at least closer to it because you're not allowing shots to the rim, you're forcing Marquette to beat you on the perimeter. So then the real player that every single time Marquette, whoever they're playing, they should help off of immediately is Stevie Mitchell. Stevie Mitchell is the one who doesn't shoot and doesn't shoot very well when he does shoot it. He is the one you should be helping off along with Iguodaro if he goes to the outside. But teams for some reason still respect him a little bit too much, but Colorado still was making the adjustment where you see way more in the paint, which made it much, much harder for Marquette to score points, which is why it's down to a four point lead. If you can get Iguodaro shooting a floater outside the paint, that he has to bank off the wall, that is what you want for a defense perspective. And then finally, what I believe is the only reason Marquette ended up winning this game is because let's look at who's on the floor right here. Okay, Iguodaro was non-shooter. Shooter, 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 shooter. Mitchell is off the court. And yes, I get it, Mitchell's a good defender. He brings quality things to Marquette, great in transition, all that. However, his spacing on defense, when they start doing this, he is suboptimal for Marquette's on offense. Okay, so as this drive happens, the fast, fat, past few possessions we've seen help, help, help. What is there now? There's no help. Because everyone on the perimeter is a 34% plus three point shooting threat. And so you have to stay home. And that is what Marquette needs in order to finish ball games. I firmly believe that if Marquette hadn't subbed out Mitchell, they would have lost this game to Colorado because Colorado was making shots and Marquette was getting terrible possessions on offense. Again, look at this. This, for the record, is this should not happen on defense. 44, why is he out here? Well, what is he doing? He's guarding Iguodaro at half court. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, but because there's no help, because they're worried about the three point threats, which I don't think they should be in this situation, they are able to pass the ball in and get an easy dunk at the rim. Marquette was able to continue this for the rest of the second half and maintain this lead because they had better spacing than they did when Mitchell was in to begin the second half. If you'd like a more detailed breakdown on Marquette's shooting struggles, I'll post it right here and have a great rest of your day.